Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Vote Guys. Um, yeah, last week, sorry there wasn't a, a tutorial online, but you know, mm -hmm. to be fair, we were at CBIT. We were offline. Yeah, we were <laughs> offline, um, but online at CBIT. So yeah, um, for those of you who came to see us, thanks very much. Uh, it was always a pleasure to see uh, some of you guys. Um, and those of you who didn't get a chance to make it, next time. We'll see you there. Mm -hmm. All right. Matthias, we're going to have a look at um, how to do some uh, sort of time controls with mm -hmm. uh, business hours and so on today. Mm -hmm. So how are we going to do that? Yeah, it's, um, I think, where to start. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we explain again our setup. Yeah. Um, we try to call in mm -hmm. somehow, we try to call out somehow, and we divided it up in contexts. Yeah. And now maybe you want to check your business hours, yeah. for example. Mm -hmm. You want to say, if, I'm, if there is not in my business hours, mm -hmm. I want to say, sorry, you're calling... Outside of our blah, business blah, hours. Blah, 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 yeah. blah, something. Yeah. Um, so there must be a way to decide mm -hmm. um, on time conditions. Okay. And that's what we are going, uh, going to do today, um, decide on time conditions. Okay, cool. And um, the command we use is go to if time. Go to if time. Okay. And we will see all the details on my console now. Cool. <laughs> so, there we go. Our setup is, as last time, um, internal phone. I have an internal phone with the extension 100, James, you with 200. Mm -hmm. And this is our outside world reduced to one telephone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, nothing new here. Um, then, as always, we uh, edit our extensions conf. And here we have our three contexts. The incoming context, where all out outside calls are incoming. Our phones, where your phone and my phone is defined. And our outgoing extension, where we can dial to the outside world, mm -hmm. which is just represented by that phone. Yep. Um, now, if a call comes in, this is this line. If somebody dials 991121231231123, then we just, we had trouble last <laughs> yeah, time with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, then we just jump to the context phones, search for 100. So it calls the PM Matthias. So mm -hmm. it's like this, you call an external number, mm -hmm. it matches this number to an internal number yeah. and calls my PM. And now it would be nice to do something at that level mm -hmm. um, in this line um, so that we can decide if it's not inside our business hours. Yeah. Then I want to do something different. Okay. I want not to call Matthias, then I want to say something or okay. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. So I think this is a good situation where we can explain conditional go-tos. Okay. There are different kinds of conditional go-tos. One of them is um, time-based. Okay. I think it's the most common that you can use yeah, because yeah. almost everybody will have business hours. Yeah. First, we go to the asterisk console. And then we can have a closer look to the command. I think I showed it already. You can say something like um, core show application and then go to if time. We already had a look to the go-to. Mm -hmm. um, we just jumped to another context. Yep. The difference is now that we jumped to another context, but only if a time condition matches. Uh -huh. And here is the, the syntax for um, that go-to if time. Um, you can define times, weekdays, months days, and a time zone, <laughs> and you can do something if this is true, mm -hmm. and you can do something if this is fails. Mm -hmm. So the description is a bit, a little bit short or incomplete. Um, what are times? What are weekdays? What uh, what description do you use? Do you write Monday or Mon or yeah. I don't know, mm -hmm. or a day one to seven? Or yeah. that's a little complicated. So, how you can find out what is the right things you can put in there. Okay. What you can do is um, go, uh, go to a, a website. This is web-info.org. It's our favorite website. Our favorite <laughs> website, yeah. 
I think we have shown this website already in our tutorials. Yeah, I think we did it in the uh, regular mm -hmm. expressions. We, mm -hmm. we uh, pointed guys here. Mm -hmm. And there you can say go to if time. And here you can see the same command, go to if time. And there is an explanation what you could put in there. Um, time range, days of week, days of month, month. And here's a description. Um, that all the names are shortened to sun, man, and so on. Mm -hmm. And uh, the month's names are shortened like this. Mm -hmm. So here you can read how it really works. And I think there is also an example. Here is an example how you can uh, define your um, time-based conditions and so on. Um, uh -huh. Days, months. Yep. If it's not important, maybe you want to use every month, then just you, ca you can just use the um, asterisk sign yep. mm -hmm. for every month or every day or even every time, if you want to. Wouldn't make much sense, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 24-7 uh, banking or yeah, something like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. perhaps, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or, and you just want to exclude Sunday, for example, yeah. every time, but not on Sunday. Mm -hmm. It may make sense. Yeah, okay. So this is a good um, explanation and a good example how you can do that. Um, then back to our dial plan. I just time zone I think is new, but you don't have to provide it. Okay. So where is the right place to put it in? We want to put it in maybe in this line. I just copy the line. If we are finished, we want to um, really call uh, 100, mm -hmm. but one line before, we want to check if we are in business hours or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I say go to if time. And then I can um, just define my working hours or my non-working hours. Uh -huh. I don't know what's, uh, what's easier. If I just want to define my working hours, then I can do things like this. Then the next parameter um, would be which day, uh -huh. Monday to Friday. I think that's okay. Just copy it. And then uh, you could define the months, or I think the month, the, the, the day of the month, or mm -hmm. something similar to a cron job. Yep. Um, then I can say it does not matter for me mm -hmm. because my business hours are always from 8 um, to 5. Yeah, Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. The next thing I need is a question mark, as you can see here, mm -hmm. and then I can jump to a context. In my case, I jump to the context phones 101, so I really call my phone if I'm inside of these business hours. Right, uh -huh. And if not, it just goes to the next line. Right, okay. So in the next line, I could do something not to go to, but I can do something like a playback. Are we going to get the monkeys again? Yeah. <laughs> You're already familiar to yeah. the monkeys. TT monkeys. And we need another line where we just hang up. So again, he goes to this line, he says, am I in that condition? Mm -hmm. If so, 
I go to phones 101. If not, I could define what should happen if not. You can see it like this. Um, no, you can see it not like this, uh, <laughs> but if you go up there, I think. This is the label if true. Mm -hmm. And then you can also provide a label if fails. So you could um, do something like um, this if it's true. Yep. And then you can provide another context this if it's not true. Right. But mm -hmm. if you do not provide what to do if not, then it just goes to the next line. Right, okay. In this case, the playback. Yep. So, if you're lucky, it works. <laughs> <laughs> First thing, we go back to the asterisk console and we do a dial plan reload. Yep. Then we go back to our telephone. Um, from the outside world, do you remember the number? Uh, no. 991, back, yeah. uh, one. 991, one, two, three, one, two, three, That's I it, think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Okay. Now I answer the call and I hang up. And now we have a look to our dial plan what happened. Um, this is our go to if time condition. Mm -hmm. He tests our condition and then he says this is true because now we are between 8 and 5 yeah. and it's not Sunday and not Saturday. <laughs> yeah. So this is okay and then he jumps to our label phones 101. So nothing changed for now. Mm -hmm. um, we have the same behavior, it just calls on my phone. Yeah. But um, now we can try what happens if I define another time range in the go to if. Okay, yeah. So if we were to take the day out, for example. Mm -hmm. The day out or shorter yeah. time range. Shorter time range is easier. Maybe we could also change the system clock, <laughs> but no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so we say it's. Um, four to five or something. So what would we expect if I call it now? That it would find the condition to be false and play back the monkeys. Yeah, let's see. It plays back the monkeys. <laughs> you can just read it here, <laughs> but you cannot hear it because there is no loudspeaker on that phone. Uh, um, but you can imagine now it's playing <laughs> yep. the monkeys and now the monkeys are over and now it just hangs up. Right. Okay. So this is time-based condition mm -hmm. and you can use it very, very often. Yep. And it's similar to the standard go-to, mm -hmm. but including the time-based okay. condition. But there's another option, isn't there, that we're going to cover next time? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, there you go. That's uh, what we're going to be doing next time. We're going to go through another option of how to do this. Till next time. See Cheers. you.